Welcome to this video guys. This is a grade boundary video for A-level mathematics. Many of you are asking us in the comments, you know, what marks would I need to get this grade or that grade? So can we I, can, I, can I just say that yeah, we, we won't be able to give you a, a, a definite, yeah, de an exact grade boundary for, for because for we can't paper. because it's there's possible. a process. There's not there's, possible. Every year is different. Um, we already had the first paper. Cohorts different. Everyone will go through different experiences. But we can um, share with them some of the data so that they can make an informed. Well, well, we can even better. Guess. We can give you a range of values. So, mm -hmm. and if you fall into those uh, particular ranges for the for different grades. And at least you get, have a rough idea of what grade you're expected to get. So if your mark is on the upper end of, of a grade B, let's say, yeah. but on the lower end of a, of a grade grade A, mm -hmm. then your grade would be obviously would be A slash B, depending on how close you are to, okay. to, to the each other. And the government grade. did say that they want to go back to pre-pandemic grade boundaries because the last few years they've been, because they've got advanced information and everything, um, they've sort of inflated some of these grades okay. so go through the process of for those of them that may not know how you know grade boundaries are determined what's the process very quickly well i would say that once all the papers are done um obviously they don't set the grade boundaries before uh, before the exam is set even though, um they they wait for the exam wait, wait for them wait for all the results to come in Mark they to be done. analyze the data they look at the bell, bell shape they need to have a certain number of each grade they need to meet um, obviously, university placements, they want certain placements to be filled and they need their grade A stars, yep. grade, grade A's. Mm -hmm. So they're looking they, they, after they need to meet. so many factors, they're looking at so many factors and then they determine the grades so, after that. And yeah, and they need to uh, make up those, 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 those grades. Um, what about the difficulty of papers? I mean, papers are not the same each year. I mean, this year's paper, 2023, was a nice PM1 paper compared to the previous year's PM1 paper. So what would that mean, for example? So let's dive in and look at some of these grade boundaries from previous years to give our audience uh, some sort of understanding of what they can expect for this year. So go take it away. So if you look at 2018, paper one was 70 marks out of 100 and paper two is 62 marks. There's a bit of a gap. And, and if you look at the paper, obviously, if you look at it now, it's difficult to judge whether it's paper easy or not unless you actually do the paper. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I go with the assumption that because the boundary was higher in paper one, in terms of how they found it was probably easier compared to paper two. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, obviously, it would have been quite the other way around. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look, if you look at the overall mark, it's 184 out of 100, that's 61 percent. So that's kind of like close to the paper two um, mark needed for a grade uh, a grade eight. Mm -hmm. And if you look at 2019, the marks required it goes down drastically because. Mm -hmm. And I did speak to a few students that I have done. That's because of the difficulty of the paper? Yeah, I mean, I have spoke to a few students who have done it in 2019 as, 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 as revision. Mm -hmm. They said that they, of all the past papers, they found 2019 very hard. Very hard. So and that shows on, on the grade manager that 56% to get a grade A on, the, on paper one yeah. and 52 on, on grade uh, so on paper two. Two. Um, overall, uh, 55%. 55%. So in 2019, 55% would get you a grade uh, grade, a, grade a, but in 2018, you needed, uh, do Six, we have it? 61% to get that same grade A. What about 2022, last year? Last year, it looks like the overall percentage is 55% for, for a grade A. So you're looking at 53 and 55 marks. On the paper one and paper, paper two? Paper one and paper two. And so 55%. This is more m matching close to 2019's and grade, 19. grade, grade And this is what the government said. They did say that they want to go back to pre-pandemic uh, grade boundaries. So have they already started or do we expect this to climb higher, like the percentage? What well, This is what I'm sure our viewers want to know. Well, if we look at the actual, I mean, compared to 2022 and, and 2019, 53 and 55, and that's 56 and 52. So Our audience want a particular number to aim for. What would you say, given that data? A like grade at, A would be this year. Uh, what um, kind of marks can they be aiming? I mean, having having looked at the paper one from from, from this year, and I've, I've just done done the done the paper myself. Um, it was a good paper, right? <laughs> I'm laughing because um, in t compared to the paper one in 2018 and 2019, the uh, the question was much much easier. Yeah. Um, but then again, there was a certain question that said you can't use a calculator to show all the. So they're going back out. to non-calculator methods, weren't they? Like, so that's what it seems. Exactly. As well. So they factorizing without their calculator. Even so, the, the quadratics is about can we combine this? So, but, but come on, let's let's let stop here. What grade can they aim for? That's what they want to do. Let's say for an A, would you advise them to aim for this many marks on now, paper two? Um, assuming they uh, most people do well in paper one, 
And paper two, obviously, I'm assuming it's going to be harder. So as overall, let's say they do much better than the cohort in 2019, mm -hmm. being the year that exam paper most people have found really difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the 2018 grade boundary, getting something close okay. similar to the 2018 So grade looking boundary. at what, six, two marks around that sort of mark so to get a grade about, about 70 for a grade Overall, eight. let's look at overall, 184 marks. Is so that that's what you're about saying? 61% for, for a grade So 184 grade marks split across all three papers. That's what you're aiming for, 184 marks, right? Now, you guys can work out the rest of this. Um, you've got the tables in front of you. So this is what all we've done is look at the range of values and worked on a particular value that we can sort of aim for. I mean, for range of values, I mean, it's quite quite of a big of a gap between 2018 and 19. Indeed, for, indeed. For, for, for an A, you were looking at 55%, uh, 55 and 61%. 61 61%. That's like a, quite, that's a large gap. Okay. Um, so we go for the upper. I mean, I always say to my, you know, my students that I teach, I say always aim for the higher end because, you know, if you what do they say, if you uh, reach for the moon, you fall amongst the stars. Okay, that sort of thing. So always aim for the higher stuff, guys. So I'm more inclined to go with the 2018 okay. than, than, than 19. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, um, we haven't confused you first of all, and you've got some clarity. The data is available in front of you, guys, as you've seen, so you can make your own sort of judgments on other sort of grades as well. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Right, Bye for now. You.